the past 20 years have seen a massive transformation in the technological landscape of India. In today's tech-savvy world, the new innovations, technological devices and services are tearing the roof daily. But the downside of the new age era is that the crime rates are going up every single day, where humanity is questioned after every act of crime. There is a need of the hour for changing the police ecosystem for a safe future and therefore, new policing strategy needs to come up to meet the challenges of evolving technologies. In this way forward, Fikki presented Smart Policing Awards 2021 to various state and UT police and Central Armed Police Force for their path-breaking initiatives for better policing, community policing, law and order, technological and policing, women and child safety, crime cybercrime and special initiatives for the citizens. In about 30 categories of smart policing, the police from various states and union territories bagged the prestigious Fikki Smart Policing Awards held in New Delhi on September 2nd. In Best Practices in Smart Policing, the additional Director General of Police, MP Crime Bureau, Mr. Varun Kapoor got the award for launching project PsyCops. See, cyber crime and cyber security, as I uh, said uh, in my speech, in my talk also, that is a very big challenge for uh, all citizens. And uh, the only way to deal with it, the only way to secure anybody in cyber world is uh, same for me as a police officer, same for anybody. It is uh, that person's awareness. The more aware you are, the more secure you are, the more uh, alert you will be and the more secure you will be. So that's how it goes. So there is no other way, according to me, in which you can secure somebody in cyberspace other than that person's own awareness. So it is awareness where we have to target and bring it about uh, bring about that awareness as much as we can so that people become more secure so uh, I have been working in this field for the last 10 11 years and I have done a number of projects and programs and my project in 2018 called black ribbon initiative was also given a Fiki smart policing award uh, which included going to people schools colleges and direct sessions workshops and seminars then came COVID and we did webinars but again it was uh, not possible to cover everybody it's uh, you can only do it's a drop in the ocean kind of thing so we thought that we should start something when people should come to us rather than we go to the people so it was born this uh, project psychops we call it in which we targeted the children as the first step towards spreading awareness uh, through the digital means and uh, because as i said children are more vulnerable and then they are biggest targets and uh, they once they become a target then they don't know what to do about it and then they become uh, victims of even worse cyber crimes mm -hmm. and the last is that they are investing in the future uh, then you will always prepare them from now so they will be uh, better netizens and citizens all their lives so we developed this project in which uh, we train teachers of the schools mm -hmm. and they go back and train their uh, children and it is a kind of a ripple kind of thing like I, I, always, I said it that I can only do maybe one school in 10 days but then I can uh, in this project I can do 10 schools in one day and then they can uh, carry forward my effect my uh, our uh, effort our message so then we have got a uh, website project psychops.com mm -hmm. on which people these teachers who we call the psychops ambassadors they, they give, give us back data of who they have trained and teach mm -hmm. taught these things so it is a kind of a we have a database of the people who are we are getting equipped uh, so and there are other projects also so we got it for this project mm -hmm. uh, for awareness in children uh, through digital means and uh, I think it is the way forward. Cyber security education uh, is what this uh, every uh, this country needs. That is, you can part of the syllabus of school education as an uh, optional subject, as a, so that they don't have to get marks for it, but they must know about it. Uh, that is the way we have to go, and then we try to work it out on our level and I hope one day it will come in from the in the actual the syllabus part yes. so that will be the a very good solution to the future needs of all the children about cyber security yes, sir. like you rightly said that um, sir, I, as you said that you have been working in this field for 10 to 11 and 12 years um, what kind of changes that you have seen because with the advent of uh, digital technology of course the children are more vulnerable to the uh, more aspect but now we are moving forward and more and more um, technology aspects are coming along the way so is that only one solution like the initiatives that you have taken of course um, will 
curb this thing for a little while but then again the digital uh, crimes and uh, cyber crimes will continue to commit so what is the 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 future that we are looking into how things will shape into the future see the, uh, there is uh, you are absolutely right the world has changed a lot it's exponential change it changes every minute every second so uh, what strategies we come out with um, are just uh, you know a, a way to go forward and something new comes up soon but uh, what we are dealing with is a permanent kind of solution because you're reaching the message to them mm-hmm. i believe that uh, if you just give them some thought uh, something to think about then people start thinking and then they start actually doing something at present i have i told you know i have addressed nearly 5 lakh people and uh, people most of them 99 i don't have exact figures mm-hmm. but it will be most of them uh, are not bothered about cyber security cyber crime they think it's just an activity which they are doing like driving a car and cooking food is just talking on a mobile chatting chatting with someone on whatsapp is just an activity that's where they go wrong because it's not an activity of this world is an activity of a different world so uh, if you give them that message i believe they will do something about it but things change and the change uh, will always help you and also harm you so it does support us in uh, we get new ways to uh, reach our message to people but ultimately you have to reach everyone and uh, uh, you set them thinking uh, i think that has to be adopted sooner or later for the category of women safety the winning initiative is a facilitation program for women peddling liquor illicitly to navigate towards alternative employment meghalaya police when i was a digital sp in the city of shillong i had noticed that there were a lot of women who were illegally peddling liquor on the streets and usually the police would chase after them and uh, you know there was a kind of situation that we could not uh, move them away from this illegal business because in when speaking to them i realized they had families dependent on them and they did not have any other skills to earn a livelihood for their young children so uh, hence we brought them together and uh, we provided them a little bit of counseling and skill development skills so that they uh, providing them skills so that they can pr- set up businesses of their own sustainable legal businesses that their children can be proud of and their children can join over time and for this basically we try to mainstream them by providing them aadhar cards jandhan bank accounts zero collateral loans formed small groups among them and put them in skill training so that they could uh, have a better life and an alternative livelihood uh, ma'am uh, in in the meghalaya region how dire is the situation when it comes to the women safety and the initiative that you eventually took forward to ensure that uh, their livelihood is safeguarded so meghalaya as a lot of you would know is a matrilineal society so women are uh, the, the the dynamic is different they are not in uh, uh, you know there's no danger of if uh, not as much danger of if teasing or some kind of harassment on the road but of course women who are peddling liquor on the road all through the night when liquor stores are shut they are uh, you know susceptible to abuse and susceptible to different types of harassment and uh, given that they had no other option and they did not know how to move out of this business it was uh, very urgent that we provided them at least an alternative so that they could build better lives maharashtra took away three awards for their initiatives in smart policing lakarganj police station built in 2019 received the category of smart police station while in the category of community policing the initiative पुलिस दादा लोरा खिड़की वन दी अवॉर्ड हम महाराष्ट्र पुलिस से आए हैं पर्टिकुलर गढ़चिली पुलिस हमको यहाँ पे तीन अवार्ड मिले एक तो एक पुलिस दादा लोरा खिड़की का जो कम्युनिटी पुलिसिंग के लिए दिया गया है दूसरा ऑपरेशन परिवर्तन जो सोलापुर पुलिस एसपी तेजस्वी सातपुते मैडम ने शुरू किया था इसके लिए एक अवार्ड मिला है ऑपरेशन रोशनी और ऑपरेशन परिवर्तन के लिए और तीसरा ये स्मार्ट पुलिस स्टेशन का और लकड़गंज पुलिस स्टेशन नागपुर के लिए मिला है तो पर्टिकुलर मैं बताऊँगा कि जो पुलिस दादा लोरा खिड़की का अवार्ड मिला है ये दो में गढ़चुली के पुलिस अधीक्षक श्री अंकित गोयल सर के संकल्पना से और मार्गदर्शन में शुरू किया था 
ये जो हमारे एडिशनल एस सर है समीर शेख सर उनके नेतृत्व में ये पुलिस दादल और खिड़की का काम शुरू हुआ उसमें गढ़चूले का पर्टिकुलर पॉपुलेशन कम से कम 12 लाख है लेकिन वहाँ पे नक्सलाइट एरिया वहाँ बिजली नहीं है नेटवर्क नहीं है और रस्ते नहीं है एजुकेशन की फैसिलिटी नहीं है इसलिए गवर्नमेंट वहाँ तक नहीं पहुँच सकती इसलिए वहाँ के बहुत सारे लोग ऐसे हैं कि उनको गवर्नमेंट की योजनाएँ नहीं मिल रही थी बहुत सारे चैलेंजेस थे लेकिन हमारे एस पी श्री अंकित गोयल सर इन्होंने ये चैलेंज एक्सेप्ट किया और बाकी डिपार्टमेंट जो है कलेक्टर ऑफिस है तहसील कार्यालय फॉरेस्ट ऑफिस है कृषि विभाग है इनकी मदद से हमने हर एक गांव में हर एक पुलिस स्टेशन में जो हमारे 54 पुलिस स्टेशन है वहाँ पे पुलिस दादल और खिड़की का हमने स्थापना की ये पुलिस दादल और खिड़की मतलब वो एक गोंडी आदिवासी शब्द है इसका नाम है पुलिस दादा की खिड़की तो वहाँ पे हम क्या करते हैं कि जो गरीब आदिवासी लोग हैं उनको गवर्नमेंट की योजनाएँ समझाते हैं उनके कागज इकट्ठा करते हैं उनको लाभ मिलने तक उसका हम फॉलोअप लेते हैं और जैसे कि अभी यंग लड़के हैं उनको रोजगार जैसे नर्सिंग असिस्टेंट है सिक्योरिटी गार्ड है होटल मैनेजमेंट है ऑटोमोबाइल इन सेक्टर में उनको रोजगार मिला के देते जो लड़के बाहर जाके गांव से बाहर जाके रोजगार नहीं सकते उनको स्वयं रोजगार का प्रशिक्षण देते हैं जैसे कि सिलाई मशीन है सिलाई मशीन का ट्रेनिंग ब्यूटी पार्लर का ट्रेनिंग है पोल्ट्री फार्मिंग का फिशरी फार्मिंग का ऐसे ट्रेनिंग दे उनको वो सिलाई मशीन देना ब्यूटी पार्लर का किट देना मोटरसाइकिल दुरुस्ती का किट देना ऐसे बहुत सारे ऐसे है कि यहाँ पर जाके वो खुद के घर पर उनका खुद का व्यवसाय कर सके और अपना उत्पन्न बढ़ा सके तो ये एक कंसेप्ट है इसमें हमारे जो पुलिस अधीक्षक साहब है उन्होंने इसमें बहुत सारा मतलब खुद इनिशिएटिव लिया है और बहुत सारा हमसे काम करा के वहाँ एक सिविक एक्शन टीम करके है सिविक एक्शन टीम गढ़चुल जिले में मेन ये काम करते हैं उसके अंडर हर पुलिस स्टेशन में पुलिस दादा लोग काम करते हैं वहाँ पे जो हर पुलिस स्टेशन है वो लोग हर गांव में जाके गवर्नमेंट की योजनाएं उनको समझाते हैं और लोगों से कागज कागज वगैरह इकट्ठा करके लोगों को लाभ मिला के देते हैं तो अभी तक हमने एक डेढ़ साल में कम से कम दो लाख लोगों को गवर्नमेंट की स्कीम का लाभ दिया है और जो हमारे सोलापुर के एस पी आदरणीय तेजस्विनी सातपुते मैडम है उन्होंने जो पारदी समाज है उनके लिए ऑपरेशन परिवर्तन शुरू किया था वो भी ये उनको ताकि ये लोगों को क्राइम का मार्ग छोड़ के थोड़ा उनको अच्छा उनका इनकम बढ़े वो अच्छे लोगों में आके उनको शिक्षण मिले और बाकी शासन की सुविधा मिले और इसलिए उन्होंने भी ऑपरेशन परिवर्तन शुरू किया था उसमें भी बहुत सा अच्छा रिस्पॉन्स मिल रहा है लोगों को रोजगार मिल रहा है लोगों को शिक्षण मिल रहा है और लोग बदल रहे हैं